And it's now time for part three. We're currently in the double jeopardy round. I'm in second place with $4,000. Player two is minus 400, and player three still has the lead with 5,700. I'm playing a little better than I usually am, than I have been all game long. Let's go with burrs and phrases for 800. When you travel by the most direct route, you're going as this bird flies. Player three. A crow? Exactly. Never you heard that phrase. Lead. That he does. Player three. I need to catch up, but unfortunately there's no more daily doubles. Poets and Poetry 200. Percy Shelley wrote his lyrical drama, Hellas, in this city known for its leaning tower. Player one. What is Pisa? Correct. Your choice, player one. Uh, Burrs and phrases for 1,000. It means to peddle one's wares by calling out, perhaps like a bird of prey. Player two. Hawk. That's correct. Oh. It's your turn, player two. So player two's out of the hole now. Gems for 400. This country's diamond rush began after some Boer children found a 21 carat stone in 1866. Player two? Oh, South Africa. Yes. All right, pick again. To be honest, that was my hunch. Auguste Bernoulli developed the flame fusion process of creating these red gems artificially. Player one? What are rubies? You are correct. Player one, you choose. 1,600 off the lead now. Um, Poets and Poetry 400. In 1922, this Illinois poet published a collection called Slabs of the Sunburnt West. No clue. Carl Sandburg. Player one, your turn. Uh, Poets and Poetry 600. This poet's annual Christmas greeting for 1949 featured on a tree fallen across the road. Player two? Robert Frost? Right you are. Oh, okay. All right, contestant. Better for player two to get it than for player three. Gems 800. This sea-colored gem, a birthstone for March, should be cleaned often to retain its sparkle. Player what one. is aquamarine? You are correct. Player one, your turn. Um, gems for 1,000. The most valuable non-cultured ones of these come from the Persian Gulf. Player two. Pearls. Oh, my initial hunch. That's it, exactly. Player two, what'll it be? Post and Poetry, 800. George Thompson's Select collection of original Scottish airs contains many of his songs. Robert Burns. Robbie Burns. What will it be, player two? Post and Poetry 1000. In a Longfellow poem, this schooner is wrecked on the reef of Norman's Woe. Anyone? No. The, Hes the Hesperus. Okay, player two. So I got a shot. 1990 Theater 800. In 1997, Liza Minnelli returned to Broadway, filling in for Julie Andrews in this musical. Player three. Victor Victoria. Exactly. And okay, last one. Board. This show, a celebration of dance, music, and song from Ireland, made its U.S. debut in 1996 to sold-out crowds at Radio City Music Hall. Player two? River dance? Yes, indeed. Okay. So I still have a shot. Double Jeopardy. Let's take a look at the score. Player two has 3,600. Player three is the lead with 7,300. And I'm in second place with 5,600. So I'm going to need a correct response if I'm going to have my run continue. I only trail player three by just eight.
by just uh, seventeen hundred dollars. That's right, seventeen hundred is how much is the deficit Let's between see what our first is for final and judgment. second. Awards. Awards, okay. Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. I'm going for eighteen hundred. Player three, we have your wager, please. Okay, I gotta hope that this works. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Okay. In 1993, this North American country reinstated the Victoria Cross as its highest military honor. Oh, I might be glad I did this. I'm gonna say Canada. Let's see how everyone is. It's gotta work, otherwise my run is over. Player two, let's take a look at your question. That's right. It is Canada, so my run's gonna continue pending what happens now. He risks it all, he goes up to 7,200. Player one, let's take a look at your question. That's right. I also said Canada, so I'm right. I risk 1,800, and that takes me up to 7,400. And a $100 lead over player, player three. three. question? He blew it, Mexico. My run is gonna continue. Three thousand nine hundred and one. That drops player three down to three thousand three ninety nine. And with seventy four hundred dollars, I have won. Congratulations, player one. That makes it two hundred forty one thousand four hundred. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Bye, Alex. So once again, 7,400 more. Here are the high scores for all the game modes. And that makes it $241,400. Once again, $241,400. And I will see you all for my next game, which will be for the Sega Genesis, the first one. In fact, I'll probably make it the Deluxe Edition since that's already in the machine right now. So, I'll see you all later, and I'll see you in my next Jeopardy game. Catch you later, everyone.